Hi everyone, today's repair is going to be a fun one. We bought this faulty PlayStation 5 with an overheating issue, but what we find is very surprising. We find a very temporary fix, and I'm going to show you how to fix it and get this PS5 back to top performance. But watch to the end to find out why you need to be very careful when replacing a PS5 fan connector. So as I say, this PlayStation 5 it is a disc edition. Uh, it's actually got an overheating problem. So if we just pop the side panel off, uh, what I do know about this one is the fan is not working. So if we quickly just take this uh, plastic cover off, what we can see straight away is someone has tried to replace the fan connector on the motherboard. Right, and they've obviously tried to uh, change the cable, and then they've uh, soldered these cables directly to the motherboard. Right, so there's actually no fan connector, which is normally here. Um, I did power this on earlier, and the fan's just not spinning. Right, so let's take the casing off and we can have a proper look at the fan connector and see what's going on and see if we can get that replaced. So I'm actually going to replace the fan. So I'm simply just going to cut those cables off that have been soldered on there, right? Because you can tell, if you have a look, two of the cables have been soldered into one cable. Um, so it's not connected correctly anyhow. So we'll be replacing the fan. So let's just cut those off. Then let's pop off the power for the optical drive. And then we can remove the casing and get a proper look to see what's going on here. As you can see, someone has tried to solder the connector on to the motherboard. Now, it's relatively common, right, that this actual fan connector breaks off because some people, when they detach the fan, they literally just yank up the, uh, the cable without actually supporting the connector, which looks like one of these. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to clear up this area. There's some hot glue over the uh, soldering job. So first of all, we need to remove all of that. I hope it hasn't done any damage to the Wi-Fi IC. We'll remove all of that uh, so we can get a proper look and we can clean up the uh, motherboard and all the connectors on there and then we can get that connector replaced with a proper connector. Right, so here we are under the microscope. Still a uh, bit of the residue hot glue on the board. Um, I have tried cleaning up a bit more, but we can clean this up a little bit later. Right, so as you can see, here is the connector, which is uh, well, it's not the connector. Here's where the connector should be uh, that has been snapped off the motherboard, right? So, essentially on these um, fan connectors, there's three pins. There's a positive, a negative, and then there's a sense control pin to tell the fan to spin faster or slower, uh, depending on how much uh, cooling it requires. Um, now, what I think someone has done previously they did have as i showed you earlier 
um, two of the fan wires uh, soldered into one of the port points. Now, that means the fan sensing bit uh, piece of the circuitry wouldn't have worked. Um, so I imagine that's why the fan wasn't spinning at all. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put on a replacement connector uh, and then we can uh, give obviously a fan a proper test and make sure to see if it's got power and working. All right, so what I am going to do, I mean, I will have to clean this up a little bit more later. Still got loads of glue on there. It's just a shame someone used hot glue on there. Um, so first things first, what I want to do is just quickly remove that big blob of solder and just check to see what is underneath there. So a little bit of flux, just come in quickly with our soldering iron and just make sure that they haven't bridged uh, any of the pad there because there is actually a tiny little wire that the uh, pad needs to connect to, uh, which is right next to a ground pad. So just grab some soldering wick. I'm just gonna remove that blob of solder very quickly, come with a soldering wick. Just remove that. Just check that everything there is as it should be. Give it a quick clean up. And the problem with this is obviously still got a load of glue over it. Right, so as I thought, this there is the problem, right? Let's just try and get you in focus so you can see exactly what I mean. So, this pad here to the left is for the, let's get you lined up, is for the sensing circuit, right? So, depending on how warm the PlayStation is will depend on how fast the fan spins, which is this pad here. Now you can see the top there, there's a tiny little via, that little circle, right? That's the connection that needs to go to this pad. Now what someone's previously done is they put a big blob of solder over here, which is effectively shorted out the sensing circuit to ground. So what we need to be really careful of is making sure that when we put our patch wire down here, uh, that we don't bridge the to again. So what I'm going to do is I'll come over with some solder mask and just mask all this up and just make sure we only grab uh, or any solder to this via here. There should be enough uh, copper left there. Well, it's actually got solder on it now, but uh, there should be enough space for us to actually connect our uh, cable to. Uh, and then this pad here is obviously connected straight down to which is ground. And this is the uh, positive voltage to go into the fan. So uh, we'll need to obviously fix the connector as well because these pads here, the fixing pads are broken off as well. So let me grab a, another connector off a donor board and we will get to work. Right, so first things first, we need to prep the area. So I'm just gonna come in with the grinding tool and just take off some of the PCB mask from around these sides here because we obviously need to fix uh, the con uh, connector to the motherboard again. So we need to give it a good grounding, somewhere to fix it to. All right, so what we're gonna do, have some flux. We are going to come in with some solder. And then just put some solder on these areas that we've just exposed. Like so. Okay, because then we're going to come in with some thin solder wick. Thank you. 
right they are probably a little bit too wide but they'll do they're good enough um, now what you'll notice let me just clean this up a little bit so you can see what I mean what you'll notice I've been very careful not to solder over any of the vias right so on the left hand side here there was a via up here at the top just here now I'm not too sure what that via is for what circuit it goes to so I'm just sticking well clear of it right so I haven't put uh, the connector oh sorry the the, the solder wick um, over there not normally if this via had covered was covered with solder mask I would probably push this connect uh, this bit of wick up a little bit but because there's a via there again I'm not too sure on what that's connected to and the last thing you want to do is then short this to ground uh, and then cause issues somewhere else right so as I say to be on the safe side I've dropped this side down a little bit it doesn't matter because we can still get a connection there for our fan connector uh, but as I say just to be on the safe side now what I'm going to do next is come in with some solder uh, mask just to cover up this bit here because I need to get a soldering point onto that via there right so that's the solder mask cured now what we're going to do is come with a little bit of flux just on top of that via grab our soldering iron and then just prepare that pad with a touch of solder like so right so now as you can see we have got the solder there and it's not now bridging onto the grounding pad. So what we need to do is come in with our patch or jumper wire. Just connect that to the via that we have just soldered. Like so. We will then just double up on this jumper wire because it is quite thin. So we're just going to loop it back around, making sure we've got enough. Let's just clean up our tweezers, making sure we've got enough length at the end of it to connect to our fan connector tiny little bit more flux at the end Right, so that's the solder mask back on and the area cleaned up a little bit more. So we can come in with our fan connector, which is from our donor board. And as you can see, if you line up the pins, right, you can now see the excess jumper wire at the bottom here, right, which I've left on purpose. Right, so what we do is we will fix the fan connector we're going to come in with a little bit of flux to the side, so we're going to fix it on. Come in with our soldering iron, and then we affix it to the uh, wick that we put there earlier. Give it a bit of a push down. Okay, that's that side fixed. Just make sure it's still aligned, and then we'll come in on the other side as well. It's just move it around a little bit and then we're going to try soldering with my left hand and then come in with the same on the other side with the soldering iron and then just fix the connector to this side as well like so now as you can see I had to move this on the left hand side had to move the 
uh, soldering wick down a little bit just to avoid this wire at the top, but we've still got a fix in there. Okay, so it's still solid. What we will do, just come in with just a little bit more flux this side, just to make sure that that solder flows all the way to that connector on the fan connector, like so. There we go, that's better. Good, all right, so that's nice and solid now. Just get you in focus, right? So that connector is nice and solid, not moving anywhere. And then all that's left to do is simply get our pair of tweezers. And what I'm gonna do is just very gently move up this jumper wire on each pin. Just make sure it's completely touching the pin. Like so, just move it up gently. Right, and then we're gonna come in with some flux. Coming with our soldering iron. Dab of solder, and then just solder each jumper wire to each leg. and tidy. Right, so there we got replacement connector with all the mask around the back and all the pins connected. We'll just quickly buzz through the pins just to make sure nothing is shorted. So metering continuity mode. That is the mode that beeps when you press the probes together. So I'm gonna put one probe on ground. This side uh, should beep, that side should beep because they're both grounding pads. This first uh, leg here, that shouldn't beep because that's the speed and all the voltage control for the fan, which as I say, speeds up or slows down depending on how warm the console is. This middle connector should beep because that's ground. This end one shouldn't beep because that is the positive voltage coming into the fan. All good. Right, so let's clean up the whole area uh, and then we'll get a fan connected and make sure it works. Right, there we go, temporarily put back together. Obviously this is a replacement fan because it's got its original connector on it. The other one uh, was cut off. Uh, so let's uh, put some power to the console and hopefully we shall see some fan spin when we press the power button. Three, two, one. There we go, fan spin, brilliant. Right, so I'm gonna get the console put back together and give everything a thorough test. We do need to finish cleaning up inside as well. So we'll do that off camera and then give everything a good test. So there you go, real quick video just to show you how to replace a fan connector on a PlayStation 5. Uh, so in this video, what we learnt was uh, when you uh, bridge the, uh, the voltage sense or the speed sense uh, connector as well as the ground connector, then the fan won't spin. So that's what the individual had done before. Uh, as I say, there, as you saw, they had the two wires connected to the fan connector when actually it needs three because that third connector is for the speed sense or the voltage sense on the fan. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video, hope it was useful. If it was, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Uh, giving us a thumbs up, it really does help us out. It tells YouTube that this is a good video and helps in the algorithm. So that's it for this week. We are posting videos every Sunday now, so look out for the new video next Sunday. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, bye for now.